You know, if you think about it, there must be thousands of different types of lettering. Well, for a start, take a look at this lot. Have you ever thought of inventing your own lettering? You know, design your own alphabet. Well, you have to start by inventing a style for your letters. So, OK, I'm going to do an alphabet where the letters are sharp and pointed and there's no curves. So it's not as hard as it sounds. Watch this. There's the A. That's quite easy. Now, the B is a little bit harder because you usually have curves on a B. But I'm just going to make them spiky and sharp like that. Now, I start to get a bit into trouble here when I come to the C, because normally that's just one big curve. But if I just do it, two sharp points like that. And after the C, I can do anything. Let's do the D. That's quite easy, because, again, it's just a point. It looks sort of space age, or maybe Egyptian, this writing. And then E, that's like this, with just these sharp prongs on. And you notice, every time you do a letter, if you keep it in the same style as the letter before it, then your alphabet starts to take on its own personality and style. Look at this, the F, just the same as the E, only without that bottom prong. Now, the G has to be the same as the C. Keep it all in the same style, like that, but with this little tail on the end. H, very easy, just a couple of spikes. Now, on this alphabet, the hard ones are the ones with curves in. So, OK, let's do an O, which is normal, normally just a circle like that. And what about something like an S, which is just one big curve? Look at that. It looks like a lightning strike. And there it is. And if you continue and do the whole of your alphabet, when you've finished, if you make a neat copy, something like this, look at that. It really looks stylish when they're all together. And you can use that to refer to whenever you want to do any writing on a poster, say. So, OK, let's try another one. There's loads of different styles. Huh? What about one where the letters are all made up of scribble? Now, don't laugh. Let's try it. Here we go. I'm going to start with the A. I'm just scribbling really quickly. And sometimes it's a good idea not to be too neat about this, you know? Because then it creates its own, should we say, flair and style. Look at that. Did me B in there. Just scribbling as I go all the way around. I've got no problem with curves here. The only problem with this one is keeping the pen going. Let's see if I can keep the pen going all the way around C. There it is, around the corner. Yes, 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 yes. Done it. And when the whole of that alphabet is finished, here's my neat copy. Look at that. And again, I can refer to that any time I want to do some writing or do a poster. Now, you'll notice I've done all of these letters freehand. You can, if you want, do an ordinary alphabet in pencil first as a rough guide and then just invent your own design on top. OK, let's do an alphabet where the letters are made up entirely of numbers. Well, that should look weird. Let's see. This looks like something a computer has churned out, I think. And the great thing about this, you know, is you only find out what it looks like or what the style looks like when you've actually finished it. Look at this. So it's a bit of a surprise. I don't know what this is going to come out like at all. So there it is. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. That looks really good. And the whole alphabet together looks something like this. Look at that. It does look like it's come out of a computer, doesn't it? So, OK, here's a challenge for you. What does an alphabet look like where all the letters are made up entirely of dots or stars? Well, I don't know the answer. I haven't done it yet. You try it. Try it yourself. Design your own alphabet. I have invented my own alphabet. It has taken a few weeks of hard work, but I have to tell you that I am proud of it. Hey, you've got to see this. Great, isn't it? I should have it finished next year. <laughs>